So by now, you've likely heard the news that Joe Biden has handily won the South Carolina primary. The results aren't fully in yet, but based on his strong start and the exit polling, he's already been projected the winner. If you look at the New York Times projection, he's going to get about 46% of the vote. Bernie Sanders is going to be second at around 21. Nobody else is going to be viable on the statewide level, a.k.a. nobody else is above 15%. And so this is a great win for Joe Biden. You know me, you know this channel. We are a pro Bernie Sanders channel, but we'll give credit where credit is due. Joe Biden scored a big victory tonight, but it doesn't change the fact that Bernie Sanders is and remains the national front runner. All the polling we've seen in the last few days was based heavily on the assumption that Joe Biden was going to win South Carolina and win it quite handily, that he was leading in some cases by well over 10, sometimes 20 points. And so when the national polling was done, everyone in their mind had it well known that Joe Biden was going to do very well in South Carolina, Bernie likely in a distant second, and still many of the Super Tuesday states have Bernie Sanders in an extremely strong position. There's nothing to indicate that this particular result will have any material change. And I know the mainstream media, MSNBC, CNN, and all the rest will try to make this night above all about how Bernie Sanders is done or how Bernie Sanders is on the decline. And my goodness, isn't Joe Biden the hot new thing that's going to win it all. But I want you to look past that and look at the actual fundamentals. Bernie Sanders is clearly leading in the national polls. Bernie Sanders is poised for the best Super Tuesday results overall, but also in states particularly like California and Texas, the two biggest Super Tuesday states. Bernie Sanders is also on the rise nationally among black voters. This result for Joe Biden was driven by his strength among African-American voters. There's no denying it, but a lot of our polling indicates that despite the fact that South Carolinian African-Americans went with Biden, nationally, they're leaning more and more towards Bernie Sanders. And as I noted yesterday on the channel, Bernie Sanders is the second choice of most of the top candidates. He's the second choice of Warren and Biden and Buttigieg voters at this stage. And even among Bloomberg supporters, he's the third choice, but he's very close to being the second choice of Bloomberg voters, indicating that just because Bernie Sanders lost tonight and just because over the next few days, over the next week, you might see some of the smaller candidates drop out. It does not necessarily mean that Joe Biden or Michael Bloomberg or whoever else will capture all of the non-Bernie vote. It's more than conceivable that if Pete Buttigieg drops out, that a good chunk of his support goes right to Bernie Sanders. It's conceivable that if Amy Klobuchar or Elizabeth Warren drop out, that a good chunk of their supporters moves to Bernie Sanders. There's no evidence indicating otherwise thus far. And you can see the desperation among the non-Bernie candidates tonight in the early post-result coverage. Since the results have come in, there's been a lot of talking about what this means. And CNN was reporting earlier tonight that Joe Biden is basically begging Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar to stick it out until at least Super Tuesday because he is worried about Bernie Sanders absolutely dominating Minnesota, which is Klobuchar's state, and Massachusetts, which is Elizabeth Warren's state. And he needs them to stay in, not because he wants them around for the debate and not because he believes in them, but because they are working to split the vote. And there was another reporter tonight talking about the Warren campaign and how they feel tonight. And Elizabeth Warren did not have a good night. In the single digits, will not pick up a delegate, an awful night. And when they were asked about it, they basically said, our goal tonight was clear. This is somebody from the Warren campaign to hurt Bernie Sanders, to blunt his momentum, to stunt his growth 
in this contest. So whether it's Warren or Klobuchar or Biden or anybody else, tonight was about one thing and one thing only, hurting Bernie Sanders, because they realize that if Bernie Sanders does what is projected on Super Tuesday, and tonight didn't change a thing, then Bernie Sanders will win a plurality of delegates and maybe even a majority of delegates by the time the convention rolls around. So, all in all, this was a decent night for Joe Biden. It was a good result for him. He has strong support in a conservative state with an African-American electorate that is older and more conservative than the average African-American electorate nationwide. Joe Biden earned this victory. And the polls more or less were right. If anything, Joe Biden did a little bit better than those polls. But to suggest that this papers over Joe Biden's fundamental national weakness is absurd because Bernie Sanders is still the front runner. He's going into Super Tuesday. And despite this drive to seemingly unify all of the non Bernie Sanders candidates, it won't work. Because despite the fact that the party, MSNBC, CNN, the media and economic and political establishment, broadly defined, seems to want an anti-Bernie option. When you go to the regular voters, they really do like Bernie Sanders. There's no such thing as an anti-Bernie option. Because even among the folks that aren't with Bernie as their first choice, they very much respect and admire Bernie Sanders, and he's often their second or maybe third choice. And so you can expect that Bernie Sanders will continue his momentum. No race is ever perfectly easy. No race is without trials. No race is without tribulations. These are the moments that test your resolve. And so to all the Bernie supporters tonight, of course we wanted a better result. But don't let this slow you down. Super Tuesday is only a few days away, and it's on Super Tuesday that Bernie Sanders is going to start his final jaunt to victory.